Hello everyone, this is Yuka and today I'm bringing you a new painting video. This one is going to be a new fantasy weapon concept aptly named Skullfucker because it has a lot of skulls and if you get hit by it, you're probably fucked. So first off, I'm sorry for uh, losing the first few hours of footage. That was because I started streaming again and now Twitch uh, has an, uh, an option that is unchecked by default, the one that allows you to archive your broadcast. So I had no idea about that one and I turned off XSplit and two seconds later I discovered that there was no video anywhere. So that was kind of disappointing because I think the, the first part is the most interesting one, getting to the idea and this is just detailing really. But yes, let's talk about the streaming issue. Um, last time I streamed was about three years ago, and now I've decided to take that up again, because there's no reason not to, honestly. It's so easy to do with uh, with a tablet, and before, when I drew in pencil only, it, it was kind of a pain in the ass to set up the cam to make sure the lighting was right, it wasn't overexposed, it wasn't this, it wasn't that. So with the tablet, it's it's perfectly cool. Like I get a smooth 1080 stream with almost perfect sound from what I could see. No lag, no nothing, zero frames dropped in eight hours of streaming. So my setup is pretty good for that. So I'm, I just want to take advantage of it. And people seem to be enjoying themselves. Like I, I put on music and answer people's questions while doing it. So it kind of makes me sit through the whole session without um, finding some sort of distraction to to distract me, obviously. So yeah, if, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch for future drawings, I'm probably going to be streaming most things I do if they're not commissions. So I'm going to include the link in the description and you can do that. So what's the story with this weapon? Well, I've been uh, I've been looking at the Darksiders art book for the past few days and I wanted to draw something inspired by the kind of artwork those guys have. I'm a big fan of how they do their uh, their concepts. I think it's really cool, probably because I'm like super fanboy when it comes to skulls and monsters. So if you like that, then the Darksiders 2 art book is definitely a gold mine for inspiration. I just I just love what those guys come up with. So this was just a weapon inspired by the general idea of combining uh, bones and skulls with uh, weaponry. I think it turned out okay. The total duration was eight hours, but that was because I I went like super crazy with details and uh, I don't know, just messed around with it a lot. It should have taken less than that, but what you gonna do? So yeah, they I streamed the entire thing uh, in two four-hour sessions and. Uh, Got done with it, and people seem to like it on stream, but I don't know. There were only like a couple of hundred one day and less than a hundred the other day. But, uh, you know, I'm planning to make this a habit and just have some sort of interaction going with, uh, with the viewers. Plus, it's always good for people to ask their questions and get them answered rather than, you know, ans asking the same shit in comments or, or on Facebook and stuff. So it's just easier to, to speak to people. So, yeah. Other than that, I haven't been doing much of anything. Uh, last week was like my baking madness week. I baked so many things and <laughs> ate so many things because, I don't know, I just... I took a break from dieting for a week because I was uh, kind of burned out. I'm back on it now. So I just made like so many things. Uh, cinnamon buns, all sorts of cakes and pies and all sorts of stuff. It's my hobby. What you gonna do? And, uh, yeah, that, that's just about everything I did. I didn't go out anywhere or do anything else. My life's not that exciting. But uh, this video is more of an opportunity to tell you guys that I'm doing the whole streaming thing now, which is fun. I just hope I don't get banned from Twitch for not not streaming uh, non-gameplay stuff. But I think it's, it's kind of a stupid rule to impose in the first place. Because technically what you could call what I do, um, game concept art. So it's, it is related to that, but, you know, it's not... Uh, it's not exactly that. Plus, I mean, I'm sure they can allow a guy to stream without having to scream over shitty gameplay of random games that no one cares about. I think we got plenty of those anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, sorry again for only showing you half the footage. It's it's what happened. But it's really easy to capture stuff with XSplit now and local recording and streaming at the same time and having like four pieces of software open everything seems to run really smooth and i have like no frames drop whatsoever so and people dig my music a lot so there's an incentive for you so yeah thanks for watching please rate that shit hope you enjoyed my skull fucker and i'll see you guys next time bye bye